Hey guys, welcome in this new video. I hope that all of you are doing great. In today's video, I want to talk about a key tip that I've learned about trading that has helped my mindset to reach the next level. So let's actually get right into it. Make sure as well you are subscribed to the YouTube channel if it's not already done and you can also share this video around you or just leave a like. I would surely appreciate it as always. So in this video, as I said, I want to talk about something that has dramatically help my trading you know just to get better and elevate my mindset to a new level so basically what i want to talk about is choosing the opportunity that you will trade on the market okay and you will see why but that is very 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 important to have better results okay so let's say that you you know you analyze your charts you go over one by one um, just as always you know you do the analysis and you look for potential trade setups and let's say that during this decision process, you will decide to take every trade that seems okay. So, you know, you will look at the market, you will find a setup that seems, you know, quite good. It's not the best setup, but it seems okay. And you decide to take all of those setups, okay? Well, what will happen is that you will probably not maximize the potential gain that you could have, okay? And so the thing is that, in trading, what is important to do is only take the best opportunities. And when I say the best opportunities, it's really the setup that you have a high confidence in the setup because you have seen the market play out the same way many, many times in the past. Those are the only setups that you need to take on the market. And now let me explain you guys why, okay? Because so far you probably have heard this, you know, oh yeah, only take the best setup, only you know, choose the, the best trades, blah, blah, blah. Okay, fine. But now here's what I want to talk about and here's where all the value in this video is. The reason why you have to do this, okay? The reason why you have to take only the best opportunities on the market is basically for two reasons. Number one is that if you take only the best trades, of course, you will have less losses, okay? So that's quite obvious. That's what a lot of people talk about and that's what, you know, everyone understands. Now, the other side of the story, which is the second point, and, you know, that's really important as well, um, is that if you... Okay, so let me give you guys an example and you'll see what it is. So let's say that someone, as I said, will take all the average trades, okay? Well, if you do that, you will, of course, have more losing trades. But what happens is that when you have a losing trade, what you don't realize is that, number one, you are losing money on this trade, but also that you are taking capital away from the good opportunities, right? So when you take a loss, well, what you are losing is not just the money in itself on the specific trade. It's also your total capital that will decrease. And because of that, on the next trade that you will take, you will not be able to invest as much money to respect your risk management. And if you do this over many, many, many times, at the end, it will have a huge impact on your trading. Okay, so of course on one trade, it doesn't really seem like it's a huge impact, right? Because if you just risk 1% and you take a loss, right? You lose 1%. Well, the next trade, it will like the 1% that you will risk on the next trade will be quite similar than the first one, right? But if you repeat this many, 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 many times, overall, your capital will, you know, maybe not grow or not grow as fast as it would if you would not take all of these losses, you understand? So whenever that you have a loss on the market, it's important to understand that it's not just about the loss in itself. It's also about the fact that your capital is getting smarter. And because of that, you cannot, you know, risk as much money as you could on the next opportunity. And if you repeat this process for too long, and if it um, is amplified by the fact that you are not taking just the best opportunities, your capital will grow at a very slow pace or at least it will not be as fast as it would if you would only select the best trades and maybe that you will not even be able to grow your capital right that's what 90 percent of people uh, are in this situation you know they are not even able to make money on the market but if you are able to make money on the market if you take suboptimal trade 
um, your capital will not grow as fast as it would if you would only select the best opportunities and so believe me guys you can even do if you want the math on your own right try different settings uh, try different win win lose ratio different risk reward ratio and you will see what I mean but if you take not only the best opportunities and you do this for a long period of time your trading growth of your account will be very very damaged by that more than what you realize because as I said um, if you just look at it from you know individual trades of course the difference seems very small but if you do this over 50 100 200 500 trades I'm telling you the difference is there and you will make a, a lot less money than you could if you would actually focus only on the best setups all right so that's what I wanted to share with you guys as I said very few people actually understand this about losses and the they don't come to this realization um, so I wanted to record a video today just to share that with you guys hopefully that it will help you all right so if you enjoyed the video well you can share it around as always I would truly appreciate it and you can also leave a like under this video so on that take care trade with care manage money well and I will see you in my next video bye bye